My work acts as a meditation about the human condition and the repetitive struggles and contemplations that we all face. Our insecurities, our fear of death, our fear of the unknown, uh, our curiosities. Through all these trials come cause for celebration and remembrance of triumphs and losses. And we've been doing this by telling stories, drawing images on the walls, through music, song, and dance. Humanity has been developing beautiful and imaginative ways to inoculate itself from these struggles of our existence by adding more meaning to it, more to appreciate and to love. My name is Shad Igney. I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I've been doing uh, mosaic and stained glass art for 14, 15 years. Through stained glass, I was able to see all different types of sunlight come through the glass and hit and make prisms and sh send colors across the room in beautiful, creative ways. That's what I've tried to recreate in some of my pieces here. And I tried to paint a narrative with reflection and, and cast shadows. This piece is about turning the telescope around and, and actually the light here shines back onto us and our creations and our history. And uh, this is just about history. It's a reference to the fact that we always look back and either have a thought of we better times or worse times. The two glass images standing on the shelf that are glowing have their internal life light still. The two glass sculptures laying down, there is no inner light. But this piece is about death and the possibility of, that of your energy either continuing on or it just stops, you know? It, we just end up in the ground, but, the, but your energy is done and over with. This ride is over and all this memory that you've collected and just stops. It never gets downloaded, you know? So I, it's kind of hard to think about that. I wanted to put these common contemplations out here. Things that we think about all the time that kind of distract us from enjoying the moment and living a good, happy life. And then all of a sudden introduce to you the other things that we think about, like the music that we write and the dances that we make and the movies that we make. Things that kind of like teleport us from our, our little interpersonal lives of contemplation. The collaboration with a composer, two musicians, and two dancers was an art piece in itself. So I kind of messed around with uh, repetitive rhythms on the guitar, and next thing you know, I, I had something that I thought fit my pieces really well. I then got in contact with a composer who could help me translate these phrases that I was making on the guitar into a more orchestrated, well-rounded, beginning-to-end piece. I couldn't stop thinking about how, how do I make one of my pieces come to life? And so I started messing around with leather and stretched masks, and the masks were solid enough and inspiring enough to where I was like, there's somebody should dance in this thing. This thing should dance around and move around. So we incorporated a 360 camera into the show. It filmed the dancers and the musicians alone in a dark in the in this gallery space to allow viewers after the opening night to come in and actually experience the dance and uh, see the musicians and feel like they were in the room. And the best way to go about doing that was is actually a VR headset. The accumulation of my work acknowledges how far over time and with a lot of practice humanity has come with dealing with our struggles and our contemplations and continuing to create new and meaningful work. So where I'd like to see the show go is, is uh, we have music written and we have video and costumes for more performances. I would like to see the show travel and go from community to community, gallery space or museum, and have that new town, that new museum, 
get their local dancers and local musicians to interpret the music and to put the costumes on and recreate the opening night.